Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, when it comes to key lime pie, author and chef David Sloan is probably the most passionate person you could possibly meet on the subject. Now, he is the author of the cookbook, the Key Lime Pie Cookbook. He is also the co-founder of the Key Lime Pie Festival. It debuted this past 4th of July, and it actually featured the world's largest key lime pie. Now don't worry if you missed it this year, you have a chance to catch it again next year. It will be taking place and it is soon to become a Key West tradition. David, it is always a pleasure having you on the show. Well, it's always Thank a pleasure you. to be here. <laughs> all right, David. First of all, tell our viewers about how your fascination for key lime pie really began. It's, it's kind of crazy. I, I used to be a baker when I was 16 mm -hmm. um, and the first time I was baking, I had no experience. The previous baker broke both his wrists because he was narcoleptic. So he, fall, he falls over. And uh, I was just kind of thrown in. And people, it was, it was an open bakery, so people saw me scrambling and screwing everything up. And one lady said, uh, why don't you make key lime pie? Uh, it'll free up your oven space. Because, you know, minimal ovens, we had to bake so much stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's when I made my first key lime pie. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved to Key West, I was researching ghosts at the Curry Mansion. And I see something that says, this is the birthplace of the key lime pie. And I thought, wow, am I really where this happened? <laughs> so I started researching it because the key lime pie has a great history. All the ingredients have fascinating stories behind them. <laughs> so it was kind of a reverse engineering thing from there, trying to find the original recipe. Mm -hmm. So it all, it all began then, really, when you were 16, but really you know, went into full force when you moved here in to Key West. Yeah, when I was 16, I never imagined that I'd be living in Key West <laughs> running a key lime festival. Right. Um, so. Well, you've done it with the Key Lime Pie Festival, David, and I'm sad that I missed it this year. But it sounds like it was a heck of an event, and you will be doing it again next year. We're, we're going to do it again next year. We're going to add more events. I mean, th this, this year, everybody in town was so phenomenal. And the festival was a huge success because of them. Mm -hmm. um, we, did, we crowned the first uh, Miss Key Lime USA. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we, Liz Love was our first Miss Key Lime USA. We crowned the first Little Miss Key Lime. Mm -hmm. um, we named three new champions with, at the Key Lime Pie Championships. Mm -hmm. uh, held that at the Hemingway House. And Tony Lazarus uh, won the People's Choice Award. And then, <laughs> then we had winners for both the commercial and the uh, um, amateur divisions. Now, do these people have to bake key lime pies, or how they, do they win this title? They, they can make them however they want. We had about 40 chefs this year. Okay. And they were brought in. We had a panel of six judges, mm -hmm. uh, and the judges had strict criteria for tasting. And when they did that, everybody else got to enjoy the pie buffet and sample all of these ones and do their, uh, the people's choice votes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we scored up all the criteria and crowned the winners. Well, that is great. And now, David, I mentioned that this festival featured the world's largest key lime pie, which was something you made at the festival. Yes. How in the world did this all happen, David? Well, when we do things, we like to go big. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Marky Pearson and I started the festival, and we said, why not make a giant key lime pie? Uh, and we teamed up with, uh, with Paul Menta from Amigos and with Jim Brush from the Key West Key Lime Pie Company. And uh, they're both brilliant with food, brilliant with pie. Mm -hmm. uh, so we came up with just the right recipe and multiplied it by a thousand. Seriously. Yeah. And you guys made that pie, right? Thing right weighed, there. We weighed over a thousand pounds, 55 gallons of sweetened condensed milk, <laughs> 200 pounds of graham cracker crumbs, <laughs> uh, and, and I think the juice of boy, like 7,000 key limes. That's crazy, David. Yeah. Did you get a taste of pie afterwards? I, I did. <laughs> and the, the, a big question everybody said, but yeah, how does it taste? It was delicious. Really? Uh, I mean, this was, this was really like having one of the best slices of key lime pie in town, much larger. <laughs> How long did it take to make? Oh, boy. Um, it took a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the planning for everything took much longer. Mm -hmm. um, we had to build an eight-foot pie pan. <laughs> <laughs> no easy task. You, you can't just walk into the store mm -hmm. and buy, hey, where are your eight foot pie pans? <laughs> right. So that was a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Hackworth, he built one of those for us. Mm -hmm. uh, once we had that, we um, just worked out the recipe and then mm -hmm. we, uh, we put it together live in front of about uh, 
about 300 people. Well, fabulous. All right, so David, this year you made the world's largest key lime pie. So next year when the festival takes place, what in the world are you going to do to top that? Well, we're going to make an even larger key lime pie, <laughs> which technically will still be the world's largest. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also probably going to have an event where we make the world's largest key lime martini. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Good one. So the, <coughs> yeah, the ideas are rolling, David. Yeah. I, can, I can tell. Yeah, we, we, we're tossing around some great ideas for events next year. One of my favorites is Blackbeard's Pie Pole of Death. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a, a sailboat mast, suspend it over the Garrison Bight or over by the, uh, the Key West Bight, mm -hmm. slather it in key lime pie, put a flag at the end, and then people will have to try to run from one end of the pole to the other to get that flag. And uh, if they get it and they win Blackbeard's treasure, if not, they fall into the water below. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. David, did you ever think that you would be doing this in your life, being the, the founder of this festival, constructing the world's largest key lime pie, making a cookbook about the key lime pie? You know, if you had asked me, you know, in school when they say, what do you want to do when you grow up? I told them I wanted to be a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> a fire truck? <laughs> yes. It was third grade. I okay. thought fire trucks were pretty cool. Um, but I never thought, I, I, never, I never could have imagined this. I never could have, I never could have uh, come up with it. Uh, I feel really blessed because um, life has done a much better job than I could have at figuring out where I am. Yeah, and I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, you've been able to do some some pretty incredible things, David. It's so weird. <laughs> well, what are you working on right now? Uh, I'm working on some uh, a couple of new books. Mm -hmm. um, one's about Robert the Doll. Everybody mm -hmm. knows Robert the Haunted Doll. Uh, I've been researching him since 1996. Over the last two years, I really stepped up the efforts. Uh, I found out a lot of information. Uh, I found out where he's actually from. Nobody ever knew this. Mm -hmm. I was able to confirm, and I was able to... Uh, prove wrong many of the different legends about him. Okay. And so in the book, it's going to go into the, into the entire Otto family history, uh, clear up a lot of things about them. They were, they were amazing people for mm -hmm. the city of Key West. Um, and I think, I think they're spoken about uh, not in the best way. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you know, legends grow, things turn. Um, so I'm going to try to correct a lot of that. And then there's all these great stories, things that people have had happen with Robert. Right. Um, Robert's not always happy with what I'm writing. When he isn't, he kind of lets me know. Uh, <laughs> I've become physically sick uh -oh. on numerous occasions when I was writing the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had it where half of my tongue will start to swell up, and I'll always know it's kind of Robert sending a message saying, there's something wrong here. Like He doesn't like a certain aspect of that chapter. Mm -hmm. So I'll go back and I'll try to fix it until I, until I stop getting sick when I write, write that part. Uh, this sounds creepy, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, another cool thing I'm doing, I've been researching the ghosts at the Key West Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. um, the place is crawling with ghosts. I think it might be one of the most haunted locations in Key West. Uh, and you had the lighthouse keeper, Barbara Maberty. She was, uh, the, the original lighthouse was destroyed in the Great Havana Hurricane. 14 mm -hmm. people died in it. Barbara was the only survivor. Uh, this is the, the hurricane that washed up all the bodies from the original graveyard by the southernmost point. Mm -hmm. So the lighthouse grounds were covered mm -hmm. <laughs> with, really? with these bodies, and a lot of them stick around. So I'm thinking there might be enough material to do an entire book Absolutely. on the ghosts of the Key West Lighthouse. Absolutely. Well, you love that kind of stuff. I so. do. I do. I thrive on <laughs> and it. I, hey, I yeah. like reading it. So good, I, good, good. I look forward to the finished products. David, thank you for being on this morning. And I promise I will be at the Key Lime Pie Festival next year. I am going to save you a slice. All right. Wonderful. And. I do want a slice of the new world's largest key lime pie because that will be happening next With, year. Without doubt, without doubt. All right, and 4th of July? Will it be 4th of July, weekend? 4th of July weekend, yes. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. And, of course, if you want any more information on David and what he's up to, just check out the information you see on the bottom of the screen.